Okay, so with the twin with the twin rudder, a lot of people believe that twin rudder takes more maneuverability. Is light reverse on. The light reverse keeps us from going forward and it keeps our motion on. So un unlike doing a stern kick with a single rudder boat where you goose it and piss the rudder and deflects off, there's a little different technique. And now if we introduce the bow thruster with this, if I have the rudder turned and kicking the ass of the boat around and I thrust, the impulse thrust, you can see I can really pivot the boat around in its own circle. If I want to slow the turn down, I actually put the rudder back to neutral. I put the rudder back to neutral. You see how the boat just slowed down on the turn? So depending on what I'm trying to do with the boat, I use the rudder in conjunction with the thruster and tight quarter maneuverability. A lot of times we talk about, um, you know, think about it like a wheelbarrow, where the bow thruster is the handles of the wheelbarrow. The wheel is the pivot point right about the keel. And you've got an eight foot long two by four hanging off of there. An eight foot long two by four is the stern. If we want to get the stern to the dock and the dock's over here, turn the rudder and we thrust and we pivot the two by four in the wheelbarrow over the dock we lasso the cleat and then we barn door the boat back onto the onto the dock so it's a little different techno or technique you should say with the twin rudder boat and as these twin rudders become more prevalent in the marketplace more and more sailing schools are catching on to that technique I mean, we we learned it from the manufacturer when they first brought the boat out they said here's how you do different and you've got to show your customers so anyway, that's that's the the falsehood is that twin rudder boat is not more difficult to remove or take part of tight quarter situations. It's different maneuvering and you gotta learn the difference. Yeah.